currently living it up in Serbia two months ago to fuel Denver to a title, Aaron Gordon and Nikola Jokic proved to be the best 5-4 pick and roll combination in the world. This video breaks down the best plays on the court between Denver's front court, then dives into the success the two are currently experiencing of the horse racing variety. Stay tuned to see which playset allowed Jokic and Gordon to become such an elite one-two punch. But if you're enjoying these videos where we honor and evaluate the championship winning Denver Nuggets, join the elite 20.4% of this channel's audience who are subscribed. Back to the content. Among the 948 two-man lineups with at least 200 minutes played in the 2023 playoffs, Nikola Jokic and Aaron Gordon own the highest offensive rating of any duo. Let's look at the playsets all throughout the Nuggets title run, which led to the Serbian combination's top-ranked efficiency. A horns cross decoy is altered to have Jokic set a pick for Murray instead of vice versa. Jokic pops to receive the swing from Gordon for the spot-up. Horn's empty lob action takes place on the other side of the court than the initially drawn up play, aiming to get Porter a backdoor cut and lob finish on the weak side. However, Towns blocks off the passing lane to deny the entry, so Jokic hands it off, sets the on ball and rolls, Jamal finds him on the short roll, and with Aaron in the dunkers plus Towns rotating onto Jamal, this forces Prince to pick up Jokic, who's gonna find Gordon with a touch pass. This time it's Phoenix who gets hit with the first play we looked at, the horns cross decoy. As the pin down from Joker fakes the cross, Murray gets the downhill cut. But of course it's all a decoy for the Jokic pop, initiating the spot up triple. As you can see these horns actions were a key to a lot of Aaron and Nikola's dominance. KCP's gonna drop it into Joker and a simple horns high low action is executed with Gordon beasting on Durant in the low post. The patience from Joker after this drag 5-4 pick and roll to survey the floor opens up the passing lane for a swing to Aaron who's going to size up with a couple jab steps before knocking it down. It's nice when your center can take it coast to coast and be able to pull off a mid-air overhead floater pass from beyond half court. Gordon seals off Booker and watch the footwork and strength on this drop step which gets AG a monster two-handed throwdown. They say Denver isn't exciting, but more fast break mastery proves otherwise as a showtime between the legs dime from AG and one-legged floater from Joker get the job done. Semi-transition this time as KCP slips and clears out to the opposite corner. Aiton allows Joker the passing lane so he floats it into Gordon who pulls off another dominant drop step on the baseline. Aaron's passing ability forced the Nuggets to change this Horns pin Jokic play to have him act as the facilitating two guard. This action calls for Jokic to set a cross screen for Porter then for Murray to glide in for the pin down on Jokic's man, opening up a catch and shoot. But we're gonna go right back to the fast break, where Jokic somehow has the feel and passing wherewithal to wait for Gordon to streak up the court and be able to thread a bounce pass through James and Davis. Fearless finish from Gordon over James does the rest. How about another rendition of Horn's pin Jokic? As you know the drill, AG's dishing as the two. Jokic cross screens for Porter, Murray sets the pin down for Joker, and it's a mid-range spot up for the boys. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. As the very next game in the same opening quarter with the Lakers having jumped out to a 6-0 lead this time, Horns pin Jokic opens up the scoring for Denver, but this time Gordon cuts back door after swinging it and it's a give and go which leads to a lay-in. With little to no communication, three Lakers converge onto Jokic in transition, forgetting about the streaking Gordon, who gathers the perfectly placed floater pass around James proceeding to hop step in for the finish. That's a perfect example of how the mix of finesse and force allows this underrated Nuggets duo to assert their will on opponents. Hachimura is slow to get back in transition on this next play. Denver gets a 5 on 4. Jokic avoids the on-ball pressure of Davis, draws the eyes of all four Laker defenders before bulleting it to Gordon, whose standing jump gets around Davis. Denver transitions out of a DHO action to an inverted horns high low mid possession on this play, meaning with the four finding the five instead of as it's typically executed the five finding the four. Jokic tells KCP to clear out, fends off AD who tries a reverse seal, catches the entry from Gordon and finishes. Back to your typical horns high low with the five and Jokic dishing from the top of the arc, Gordon seals off Vincent, Jokic floats it in, and Gordon yams it. 
This time, a spread ball screen with Murray and Jokic is what opens up this beastly high-low connection. As Jokic backs down Bam, Love's aware of the cutting Gordon on the baseline, opting to help him recover, but it's impossible to do that when Jokic sells hook shot this elusively, passing out at the last second to set up the lob. Jokic and Murray are already the game's best one-two punch, so things get pretty overwhelming for defenses when in spread actions as such, you have to worry about an athletic beast like Gordon cutting out of the corner as AG finds himself wide open after Zeller and Highsmith blitz Jokic. Since we've yet to see how the signature play of this video being the horns pin Jokic playset worked against the Eastern Conference champion Miami Heat in the finals, we've got to look at this next play and we also get a feel for how this action works with a camera view of the opposite side of the court, which is nice. Firstly, Gordon pops out to receive the bounce entry from Murray. Secondly, Jokic veers to the right corner to set the cross screen for Porter. Thirdly, Porter cuts to the opposite corner. Fourthly, Murray sets the pin down for the screener and Jokic. And last but not least, Jokic cuts to the middle of the key. Gordon swings it to him. And just like that, a wide open mid-range jumper is opened up. Easy as one, two, three. As you've seen throughout the course of this upload evaluating the AG Joker connection, the absolutely staggering amount of outlets, options, and play sets that Denver can go to on any given possession makes them definitively stacked in multiple facets, branching from personnel to strategy. At the head of the snake, the coaching staff gives the playmaking mastermind in Jokic, aka Serbian Superman, essentially free reign to initiate and execute the offensive system at his disposal. In terms of in the ever so crucial chemistry department, these reigning champions can only continue to blossom in that area. Not only has Denver taken over as this team's main channel, but athletic phenom Aaron Gordon hopped on a 10-hour flight to go visit his number one option in Serbia. Once arriving at the Nikola Tesla airport, a trip to the horse racing circuit was inevitable. Nikola owns half a dozen horses and had been spotted on camera several times throughout the offseason racing him. Aaron was intrigued by this and had to travel overseas to see the Mavericks in person. Now Gordon and Jokic have become two-time champions, one of which was won on a basketball court, and the other on a horse racing circuit. Just look at these nuggets. It's so damn inspirational. This was your boy D-Flow, and I'll see you next video.